Seven days into the violence in Israel, more than 170 people have been killed, a number that isn't lost on the four families for whom this nightmare began weeks ago. On June 12th, three Israeli teenagers were on their way home from school when they disappeared. Weeks later, their bodies were discovered in the West Bank. The day after their funeral, a Palestinian teen was abducted and burned alive in what was later called a revenge killing. One of the murdered boys was 16-year-old Naftali Frankel. His uncle, Ishai, joins us on the line this morning from Nafailan. It's good to have you with us, sir. Marcy. Uh, so just, just tell me, th this conflict continues. Uh, you, you are in the middle of it. Right now, what is it like for you? What is it like for your family? Uh, these days are pretty hard on us. Um, we get uh, air raid sirens uh, a couple of times a day. Uh, the Hamas continues to shoot rockets into Israeli cities and towns. Each of these rockets loaded with tens of kilos, sometimes hundreds of kilos of explosives. Thank God, uh, so far, uh, the, the casualties in Israel have been very light, uh, thanks to the Iron Dome. But these are very hard days for us. The tension, of course, began with the death of your nephew uh, and two others. Tell us uh, about that time, because, of course, difficult for your family, and as you said, continues to be. You know, these are very difficult days. Uh, as you stated, it, it began with the abduction and murder of three Israeli teens on their way back from school. Uh, to this day, by the way, the killers have not yet been caught. Uh, some members in the ring have been caught. The killers, unfortunately, no. And sadly enough, uh, the Hamas continued, you know, after this killing, uh, is now attempting mass murder with Israeli civilians. And we really wait to see an end of this uh, bloodshed. These are very bad days for our region. And it didn't end there, because after the funeral of your nephew uh, and his two friends, a young Palestinian teen was killed, Mohammed Abdur Qadur. Uh, but, but here's what I find really, really interesting. You reached out to the family. Uh, that is true. Um, when we heard about the, uh, the murder of Mohammed Abu Khadir, uh, we went out, the families of the abducted Israeli teens, uh, we went out condemning uh, this murder. Uh, we think it, it's horrendous. Um, we do not see any difference uh, between the murder of an Israeli or a Palestinian. Each one of them is a heinous crime. It should be punished. Uh, in fact, I called uh, Hussein, who is Muhammad's father, uh, two days after the killing, condemning, offering words of condolence, and, and really making sure we're on the same side of the fence, you know, the, the side of the victims and the side of these who condemn any type of violence uh, that is not justified. Yeah. I want to read a quote, if I might, Yeshai, uh, the, from your family, the Franco family statement with regards to what you just talked about. And, and you say in this statement, if a young Arab really was murdered for nationalist reasons, this is a horrifying and shocking act. There's no difference between blood and blood. Murder is murder. There's no justification, no pardon, and no atonement for murder. Those are really strong words in a heated, heated situation. Uh, tell me whether you received any backlash for all of this, for reaching out to that family. Um, so as you say, we issued this statement, I think it was hours after we heard of that murder. Uh, two days later, uh, the Israeli police, working very fast and you know, very efficient, was able to lay their hands on the killers, on the alleged killers. Um, no, I did not receive any backlash. You know, I think people uh, in Israel uh, expected us to say these things. Um, the Israeli public, you know, from Prime Minister Netanyahu up to everyone that I've heard, very sharply condemned the murder of uh, Mohammed Abu Khadir. This is not our way. You know, we do not work this way. And in this case, any Jew who commits, you know, such a terrible crime should be put behind bars for the rest of his life. I and mean, it's very simple. Mr. Franco, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And all the best to your family. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.